Due to popular request, we are going to actually open Pandora's box. This is video two about the Pandora Box 30S. And what we're going to do is take a peek inside and see what's in it. But if you would like us to do a version three video where we really get into it, get into the SD cards and see what we can do with the ROMs, let me know in the comments. All right, so it's time to crack into it. For this, we will need a number two Phillips. I hope this is all we need. One screw removed. These are machine screws. Threaded. There we go. Nice and tight. A lot tighter than I would think. And then the reveal. Does it? Yes, it does. Oh, that's that's actually pretty tidy inside. So the speaker is facing downwards. They've got an LED strip, uh, RGB. It's not, it's only got two wires going to it. Yeah, so it's got a, the RGB lights in there. It looks like they only connected two colors to it, unless there's a control chip underneath this black here. There may be a control chip. That, that could be what it is. There is an RGB LED strip in the bottom you can see there. Looks like it's a 12 volt device. And I'm guessing that this little underneath the heat shrink black portion is maybe, maybe it's a controller. It does look like, mm, yeah, yeah, I, I, mm, yeah, maybe. That could be a controller because it only has two wires going to it. I'm getting kind of off in the weeds here, uh, but we can see all of our buttons on the back. This is just really basic sort of parts um normal micro switches so you could upgrade those switches if you wanted to or i would just upgrade the entire assembly honestly it bolts on from the back that's kind of interesting they got a little heat sink here and uh let's see supposedly supposedly there's a micro sd i'm just gonna have to take this out it's nice that they left the wires long enough. Okay, uh, there's nothing on the back. We've got no SD card, unless it's underneath our heat spreader. Interesting, okay. They may have, you know, went cheap effectively. So I'm, I'm just gonna take this heat spreader off, I guess. I think it, oh no, it's not gonna undo. I can just see underneath. There is no SD card on this. Well, okay. So, my plans have been foiled. There will not be any removal of ROMs. There will not be any deletion. Uh, oh, wait, wait. It's hiding under a sticker. Oh, silly me. It says plus 2000 right there. And that, yeah, we're gonna need our knife. I just wasn't looking carefully enough. So you do have to take this board out to get the SD card out. All right, let's see if I can do this without screwing things up. Ooh, I don't want to pull it off the board. This, okay, I'm gonna just cut it. I'll just cut it on that board edge right there. Bam, there we go. And hey, look at there, there's an SD card. Now, I would wonder if it's got the emulators on there and it's actually running off the SD card. Made in Taiwan, micro SD HC 32 gigabyte. There we go. We found it. I'm gonna just put that right back in and hopefully not bend our pins. There we go, click, click. So that's actually a good thing. That's a good sign. That means there is a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. All right, we're gonna have to give a little, little ugga duggas to get this back in. I wonder if there's a, it's actually a fairly nice little molded portion here. Why was this so easy to get out and so difficult to get back in? What am I, what am I forgetting here? Anything? Nothing. It looks like you could mount it with screws and they just chose not to. Nothing's in the way. Hmm. Hmm. 
<coughs> I say, I wonder if maybe a little, a little whoop to do there. Oh, come on. Come on now. Is it just one of those things where you got to, oh, you got to really bend it out of the way. There we go. I was being too difficult with it. Cool. I mean, that's really easy in and out. That's kind of nice. If there ever is a need to do things that it's only two screws and then two little plastic tabs. So there we go. Let me know in the comments if you know anything about these, because so far I don't know anything about them. I've seen some other YouTube reviews, but it's, it also seems that this is a relatively generic item. There are multiple manufacturers that are making these. There are oodles of people selling them and there's really no standards. So it might be called the Pandora 30 S and it may not be the same product. So just watch out for that. But I, I think, I think that if you get something that's called the 30 S you could assume that it's more or less the same and at least go off of that. And then they'll, they'll all have like their own model types from different factories. But what I'm trying to say is that there may not be much standards as far as like when you buy it, even if it's the same model and it has 2000 games on it, it may not come with the same games as mine. And you know, the parts compatibility, although, you know, buttons are buttons, joysticks are joysticks. That's not going to really be, be a big deal about it, but yeah, this will take a little bit of investigations on there. So if you want to see me get into the SD card and kind of poke around in there, see what's on it, maybe uh, I, I could do a clone image of the SD card and then I could start screwing around with the files on there, put it back on here and then see, hey, do files disappear? What happens to them? Does it still list 2000 and it just jumps uh, when you don't have it in there? Or does it actually know, you know, oh, there's not 2000 files now, so you can only go to 1999 or whatever. So yeah, if that is something that you would like to see, let me know in the comments and I'll do a little bit of investigation on this because everybody loves toys, at least everybody that I know does. So as always, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.